How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to episode number two of the Road to 2.147 Billion GP Drop Tab. And now before the video officially sort of starts and kicks off, I just wanted to quickly apologize for the long amount of time between the first episode and this episode. Uh, basically, I posted about it on Twitter, I didn't want to make a video about it until everything was resolved, uh, but something crazy happened in my IRL and that ended up pushing back all of my videos for basically five days. So I'm very sorry about that. Everything should be resolved now, so I'm back to like my regular schedule and all that's good. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been making videos or streaming for the last five days, which is why this video is so late. Uh, but anyway guys, this video gets us all the way up to the day of release of Tello, so it catches you guys up uh, to everything I've been up to, and I did include a price check at the end, like I promised. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, hopefully you do enjoy. Let me know, as always, if you'd like to see anything particular in these episodes. Uh, as always, have a good one, and peace out. So yeah, there we go. Next solo complete. That went really, really well. In for the bruise. Nope, Onyx Bolts E. That is an incredible drop. See, I always record at the right times. Welcome to the episode. We are starting off with an incredible drop. This is worth like a couple mil, I think. Yep, three mil on the dot. Uh, See, so yeah, anyway, guys, welcome to the episode. Alrighty guys, so my next duo partner died on Ice Phase, he forgot to freedom before trying to Immortality. Uh, so yeah, I just soloed off the end of that kill, so let's see what the loot's gonna be. It is gonna be green, dragon hide, not bad at all. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna head to the bank really quick, and yeah, come back in for another kill. I don't have much food out. Oh, I should probably re-overload, shouldn't I? Yeah, good job, Ryan. No wonder Saras Phase wasn't ending, and I'm like out of food right now. It's because of Shadow Phase, wasted like all the food in my invent. I usually solo, or I, I have sold in the past without a yak, but uh, glad I had it this time because otherwise we wouldn't get this kill. Here we go. Kill confirmed. There we go. Not bad. Cheeky little next solo to start us off. Four Torver Gloves! Woo! Fuck yeah! What are they worth? Oh, five mil. Okay, so not like a massive fuck yeah, but like a little fuck yeah. Like a, a, a quiet, subdued fuck yeah. And see what we're gonna get. Hopefully a spider like piece. That makes me really, really happy. Check the loot. And a pheromone. There you go, guys. Level 104 attack. That's not too bad. Why don't we uh, get our lucky spider like piece? Oh, are you kidding me? Another pheromone. That is my ninth pheromone on this account in 450 kills. And that's my second one in six kills. Feels bad, man. I mean, it's two mil. It's not bad, but also, you know, I'd rather a spider like piece, and I'm currently super, super dry, which seems to kind of be the trend with me. Uh, but yeah, means we gotta go back for another kill. Oh shit! Move, move. Solo. Nope. Five k. So close and fucked. Hey right, guys, we're just finishing off Araxi really, really quick. I'm enjoying these melee kills. I know like you should be using a Nox bow just because it's like better in some people's opinions. I just, I prefer the melee. I just feel like I can deeps faster and I find it a little more chill, a little easier, a little more fun. Uh, I just prefer the melee abilities. Obviously when it gets high in rage, I love to use the Nox. It's way better, but you know, early in rage, early going, it doesn't really matter so much. And that is why I go with the Dragors and the Torva, augmented Torva, and it's a good time. But anyway, guys, that's not important. What's important is the spider leg I am about to receive. Oh, two Onyxes, not quite a spider leg piece, but uh, yeah, I'll take that. Onyx bolts. <laughs> Lol. Check the loot, see what we might get. I didn't get anything of cool value, but 100 air bones, that's always gonna be worth a really good amount of money. All right guys, so I got a Twin Furies Reaper assignment and Luke is actually at the Twin Furies right now with someone else, they're just going for pets, they're doing super quick kills. Uh, so I thought, why don't we go and make it a three man? So what I've done is I'm going with a Steel Titan and Sharpshooter Aura and it should be a ton of fun. Hopefully I don't just get comboed out, run out of food and then have to like leave, it'll be really, really awkward. Uh, but yeah, I think it's only 12 Twin Fury kills, so it won't be very many. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be totally good to go here. Should get some really, really quick kills. Like I'm thinking like sub one minute kills. I'm assuming they're both maxed with knock sides. Uh, so yeah, they should be really, really fun. And I will let you guys know if we get any cool loot. Alrighty guys, this is the last kill of the Reaper assignment. Almost done here. Uh, I don't know if I get the drop because uh, the Furies were on me the whole time. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we did get the drop. Uncut diamonds, not bad at all. Uh, most importantly, the 17k Slayer XP. Alright guys, going in with an Essence. Uh, I have a feeling it's not worth anything at all because it didn't even beam. Which is shocking. How little is that worth? Come on, it's supposed to be like a rare drop. 74k. Feels bad, man. It'll be the last kill of the trip. Yeah, that was, that was pretty clutch. I was down to 600 hit points last kill, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> and check the loot. Onyx Boltzy! <laughs> no yes, what an what? ending. That is why you commit, people. That is why you commit. 
Alright guys, going in for another next solo. Here we go. Should be about to loot. Oh, he's healing now. Great timing. Good job, Ryan. Putting on the recorder at the exact opportune worst time. Okay, he's praying melee now. We got it down. 3,000 hit points. 2,000 hit points. 1,000 hit points. And you should be dead. Taste my wrath. Here we go. Wish me luck on the loot. In four. Onyx bolts again. Oh, that is so nice. Another three mil in the bank. Kill confirmed. Great success. In four. The signet. Yes. That is so good. That took us less than 30 kills to get it. Oh, that feels so good, man. So now we've got four out of six signets. Let's fucking go. Do that and do that and get the kill and get a signet. Oh, it actually happened. <laughs> wow, well, we did a good job calling that. That is insanely hype. So yeah, that's just straight gains. Uh, that was like another 25 keys. So. Now we've only got one more and we're done. We've done the Ascension Crossbow. That was quick. That only took 17 keys. So 24 keys and then 17 keys and now we've only got one more. Uh, so let's throw the Signet in with all the other ones. That is like one of the hypest things of all time. Kaboom, we got five. Look at this. Wanna die or nah? Thank you. Let's see what the loot's gonna be. Oh my god. It's done. I finished a crossbow in 214 kill count. That's absolutely mental. 214 kills and I just finished an ascension crossbow. Uh, all right guys, I just finished the ascension in a stupid low amount of kill count. I did it in 214 kills, which is just ridiculous. It should have taken me close to 400 if I was going by the drop rate. Uh, so yeah, my luck was absolutely stupid lucky. Uh, so yeah, I think I've got everything I need to go and make a crossbow. If I do create crossbow, this should work. Yes, create. Yes, create an ascension crossbow using the dragon crossbow. Yes. And we did it. Work complete. Uh, so check that out. Ascension crossbow made almost entirely from scratch. I had to buy about 80 keys, but all the other ones I got myself. And it is worth a nice and cheeky 51.5 mil, which is super cheap for like a tier 90. But you know what? I got the thing. It looks really cool. And I'm really, really happy to just dump that in the tab and forget about it. Alrighty guys, so what you see now on your screen is actually a bit of a sort of pan through of the entire drop tab And then what I did is I did a price check of the most expensive items as well Just an invent of the most expensive items obviously without including the ascension crossbow and the torva gloves uh, But yeah, the total price of the entire drop tab everything tallied up was a little bit over a hundred and fifty mil So some really really good progress for a couple weeks in uh, So Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it Thank you so much again for supporting what I do uh, if you did enjoy please smash that like button it really helps me out and other than that hopefully everyone is having a fantastic day night whatever have a good one and as always peace out